Hi there, it's Karen, and I had a wonderful surprise today. It's Starlux Starbucks time already. I didn't get any tracking information on it, so it was a bit of a shock to get this. It was also a bit of a shock to get my FabFitFun box today, so it was like surprise delight day. It was fantastic. Starlux Starbucks is a monthly beauty subscription service. It costs $15 a month plus some shipping. I think it's $2 and something, four cents, maybe 84, maybe 64, I don't remember. They send three to four full-size products from their own makeup line. I'm a huge fan of their lip products as well as their gem eyeliners and gel eyeliners. I find their packaging to be a little bit chintzy, but overall I think their subscription program is a fantastic value. This month is special. It is guest curated by a YouTuber named Ashley Hackman, and this is the beautiful guest curation box. It reminds me of the one from August of 2012 where they had a um, lingerie fashion designer, and it was just this beautiful black box with like a really sleek looking logo. This was just gorgeous. And on the inside is the little card that they send that describes the products and whatnot. We have three signature items this month. That means they have the curator's name all over them, which is kind of fun, except that their packaging kind of stinks. The name tends to wear off of a lot of things. But the first item is the lip liner in Cherry Cedar. It costs $12 or $13 on their own on the site. But you can buy past Starboxes for, I think, $25 once they release them a couple months after. And that is just a beautiful, beautiful, like, perfect burgundy lip liner. I love it. And their lip liners are pretty creamy. They're pretty nice. I do like them. The next item they sent is one of their regular line lipsticks, which is my favorite style lipstick from them. And this is in the color Boss. Extremely dramatic. Extremely fun. And something I noticed about it is that it's very orangey, which they like to send out orangey colors, but it's almost like a perfect orange for spring on my lips. I have very little pigmentation on my lips naturally. And this came out like very bright and chipper. <laughs> and it looks darker now, but what I did is I took it off and put the Cherry Cedar lip liner on, which was a nice dark burgundy. You could just slap a gloss on top of that and be gorgeous and good to go. But combining the two, I think, worked out really well. I love this color. It's a very true red when you combine the two. Very classy and gorgeous. I'm a huge fan. I know a lot of people already have a lot of reds in their collection. I do not. I don't wear them very often because they're so bold. But I do love it and I do like Starlux lipsticks. I'm really glad to have a Starlux red. I almost feel like they have three looks in one because the one red is like a really deep brown red, the one red is a really bright orangey red, or you can combine it for a third red like I'm wearing. I really feel like you can get a lot of variety out of these products. The last item I am also ridiculously excited for, it is their gel eyeliner that comes in a pot. I'm a huge fan of their gel eyeliners. And this is in the color Black Hole, which I almost ordered a couple weeks ago, and I guess I'm glad I didn't. It is a gorgeous matte black. I am already wearing it. I love their gel eyeliners. They don't bleed. They go on smooth and wonderful. And you might say, Karen, I don't wear gel eyeliners. How on earth do you put them on? Let me show you. You would use an angled liner brush. My favorite for this is Starlux liner brush in it's their pointed slant in 844, yes, it's incredibly dirty, but look how sharp that point is. And if you look at like the profile of it like that, it is like pinpoint sharp, I love that one. I also have their 824, which is a little bit less of an extreme angle, and it's a little bit thicker. So I do like this one as well, but not as much as the 844, which I think is phenomenal. But maybe you don't wanna spend like a billion dollars on a slanted liner, maybe you just wanna to go to Target, and pick something up, this doesn't have a brand name on it, it is probably e.l.f. or something similar. This is what I use when I'm using powdered eyeshadow as an eyeliner. And this is perfect as well. It's a little bit thicker if you look at it straight on than the other two brushes, so it can be a little bit harder to control, but it's also just as good. It probably cost me $3. You just go to Target and look around in their makeup aisle and you're all set for your gel eyeliners and other type of eyeliner needs. Speaking of needs, I failed to swatch out the eyeliner and how will you know how fabulous it is if I don't? 
So there is the eyeliner in person, super black. Man, I was really looking forward to owning this one day. I'm so glad they sent it in a box. And I'm so glad I didn't order it because they last for a really long time. It would be very sad to have two. I know some people did order it and now they have two copies of it. So I hope they go through product a lot faster than I do. So that is my March Starlux Starbox. It had the lipstick in Boss, the lip liner in Cherry Cedar, and the gel eyeliner in Black Hole. I did just get a couple of other recent purchases from Starlux that I'm really excited about, or I should say one of them I'm really excited about. They had their loyalty code recently as well as a discount code, and with the discount code I picked up their cream blush in French Connection. I really liked their other cream blush in, I guess the color is now called Merlot. But this, this baby reminds me of their HD Fluid Blush in Barbie, which was discontinued as soon as they sent it out, which was such a bummer. But it's such a pretty like pink pink and their cream blushes are so much fun to use. I don't like a lot of color and you can really control them a lot. You can shear them out or you can just leave them on heavy. I'm a huge fan of their cream blushes. Much more so than their powdered blush. And the other item that I picked up with my $35 loyalty discount code was their eyeshadow palette in Stockholm. And I'm not that big a fan of their eyeshadows. I picked it mostly because the other lipsticks that I would have liked were sold out. And I first joined Starlux in September of 2012. And this came in their September of 2012 box, but I missed the cutoff. So I didn't get my first box until October and I had already purchased the August box. So it was like my only thing missing from that time frame. Here are the colors. They're very pale. They're all meant to be extremely iridescent and pretty. And maybe they are, but if you can see mostly on this green one here, they're also faded from being really freaking old, I guess. Um, so I was really disappointed in that. I knew that it would be an older product, but I didn't, it didn't occur to me there would be some product breakdown or some product change over time, and that it wouldn't be as good a quality as buying something brand new, because I just assumed if it was unopened, it would be fine. Not going to bother returning it. I'll probably still use a lot of the colors in there, not the green one but this only cost me $6 after my discount code, and it's really unique having the iridescent shades. I'd swatch them, they don't show up very well because they're very, very faint, and I love a faint iridescent color. It's just so hard to find anywhere, just perfect for spring. So hopefully they still work fairly kind of sort of well. Wow, this video is taking forever. If you got your March Starlux Starbucks, I hope you enjoyed it so much. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous night. Bye.